uh, to Keith. It says, Dear Keith, thank you for sharing your story with me. Michelle and I were deeply saddened to hear about your loss and the pain you have experienced. Sometimes terrible things happen to them um, that seem almost impossible to understand. But each day I am moved by the courage and inspiration, inspiring actions of young people like you who are recognized their abilities to bring about positive change. By putting your best effort into everything you do and working with others around a common purpose, you can help shape the world we share and lift up lives of each other. Again, thank you for reaching out. Please give us the best to your granny, who's out in the hall, and um, to keep on writing his story. And I'll let you hold that. I'll take your book. <coughs> This book here was written by Keith. All the pictures inside the book were you the pictures. The pictures were done by Keith and just him and his father. And we're gonna get into a little bit of the story and why it's so dear to him, to his heart. And I want you all to understand Chicago has changed a lot over the past years and the crime has went up. And this story right here is proof of what's happening in our neighborhoods every single day. Okay. Welcome. Welcome, Keith. All right. Are you having a good time so far? Yes. Okay. We're glad to have you today to tell your story. Um, we understand that you're a victim of gun violence. Okay. And you lost your father at the age you come about. Is that correct? Yes. How old were you when you lost your father? I was five years old. Five years old. Okay. How old were you when you broke the book? Uh -huh. Okay. How old are you now? Twelve. Twelve. So we're talking about years of pain that I have a father there. Um, how did you come about the title of the book? Um, because me and my dad's name is Keith, and my heart was broken. Okay. Who inspired you to write the book? Well, my dad, dad, I was mad, and my grandma told me to um, write what I was mad, and then I wrote so much, and she said, let's just turn it into a book. Okay. What are your future plans in the future? You know, what do you have that you want to do in life? I want to keep writing and keep writing more stories. Okay, about your father, different stories. Okay. Keith is selling this book for $15? 10 10 He discounted the book, okay, down to $10. But if you want to get 15 I encourage you to get 15 because this book is very, very important. It's a book that you should read. Every young person should take this book with them. Black Lives Matter, and that's not Black Lives, all lives matter. Okay, so this is a book that I think everybody, I'm going to invest into it, and I think everybody should take the same and invest into this book to support Keith as a young black man who is telling his story in the book, and there's going to be more stories to come. And hopefully it touches somebody and it's an inspiration to the next person. And as Keith moves up in age, we keep on supporting Keith and keep on pushing him forward. All right. All right. All right. That's pretty much it. You don't want to add nothing? Anything? I don't know. Tell us about yourself. What you like to do? What you like to do for fun? I like to play football or basketball. Football or basketball? I can play basketball. I was, my height, I was short, so I can't really dunk. So <laughs> basketball didn't work out for me. Uh, he likes to play basketball and football. I know we have a lot of athletes in here today that play football or baseball. What else do you like to do? I know writing books you like to do, right? Yes. What's going to be your next book you're going to write? It's going to be the same about that, but it's going to I'm dealing with you more. Okay. All right. Seven. You're in seventh grade. So, let me see if I can ask some questions off the top if you don't mind. Okay. Don't get 
nervous about my questions. You wrote this book, and you're, you're planning on writing more books about you and your father, your experience you had with your father, and even though he was gone at an early age. Tell me some memories that you have of your father before this incident happened. Um, I remember me and my dad, me and my family, we always used to go on vacations. Okay, what else? That was it? I really don't remember because I was little. You, you was five? Yeah, I was <laughs> So you, you, you remember the family vacation? That is something that you do remember. Okay, and I, I know your father is dearly missed by your family, by you, and it's all told in this book. Um, I read the book, I had time to read the book, and once again, it is inspiration. I'm showing the back of the book. It is inspiration. Please, please support Keith. Please. Okay. matter, all lives matter. Let's keep Keith and his family in our prayers, in the everyday doing of life that we go, whatever we do out here, keep him in our prayers. He's a young man who still has a life to live, who still has a talent, and he's put his talent on a piece of paper. Amen. Not on a basketball court, not on a football field, but he's sitting down, and he's put his talent right here in this book, Amen. and there's more books to come. So let's keep on encouraging her. I'll be done with the interview. Keith, it was fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to get out of here, and uh, I'm going to give it to my partner over there and let her take it away. Thank you.